Paul McCartney is the ideal artist to follow you too. At The Sphere, midway through 2023, you too kicked off a sold out residency at The Sphere, the newest performance venue in Las Vegas. The Irish Rockers residency at the venue has been extended and their appearances now span into the spring of next year. The booking company responsible for the multi-billion dollar venue then has to secure headliners capable of drawing in 20,000 people every night to fill the practically empty schedule after that. Speculation has swirled over who would replace U2 once its critically acclaimed residency at Sphere, U2, UV Octung Baby Live, concludes. Some artists, like Paul McCartney, have allegedly been contacted by the Sphere's booking agents. The former Beatle would be perfect for the venue, even though he hasn't confirmed it publicly yet. It's not only the sphere that McCartney shines, he would look fantastic in practically any place. No matter the size of the audience, the rock star can play to their heart's content. He has performed for a wide variety of audiences, from small gatherings to large festivals and award presentations. After decades of being a musical superstar, McCartney has accumulated a wealth of expertise and is able to put on a performance unlike anybody other. When the Sphere's technical possibilities are considered, nothing less than greatness is certain. The Sphere would truly be a legendary arena if McCartney were to play there. U2 is among the all-time great rock bands, and McCartney is arguably the most adored musician working today. Though they haven't achieved the same level of fame outside of their own fan base, the only other notable act to agree to play at the Sphere, Fish, is beloved and immensely famous inside it. Recruiting a Beatle would undoubtedly help the marketing team behind the new Las Vegas Dome performance venue maintain its reputation as a must-visit location for A-list musicians. If McCartney were to join the Sphere, it would also aid the behind-the-scenes team in discovering the next act. Since U2 launched the theater months ago, the only new act to be announced by the bookers is Fish, and they have been painfully delayed to announce any other talent or activities. His charisma and legacy might make other celebrities give residency a second thought if McCartney were to establish a home and perform multiple concerts there. In addition to his skill and songbook, McCartney's fan base makes him a highly sought after performer in a location like Las Vegas. Many business owners in the hospitality industry would be thrilled to hear that the former Beatle will attract a large number of older concert goers. Las Vegas is quite accommodating to the well-off, who tend to be older and have more disposable means. Anyone who can arrange for McCartney or anyone else to visit should be courted appropriately by the local booking agents. It appears that the Sphere schedule is quite light at the moment. After U2's tenure concludes in March, Fish will take over, albeit temporarily. Nothing is scheduled for the venue after the jam band, and spring is approaching quickly. A quick announcement from the Sphere team is in order if they want fans to be able to purchase concert tickets, book hotels and plane tickets, and more. It is unclear at this time whether McCartney will accept the position, but his name is still being considered.